Hey guys, John here with a photo. Today we have tried to do a one take, one minute video, hopefully, on green screens, on how you can do your keying, chroma keying a little bit better by selection of materials and placement on the green screen. Behind me, I have a two meter tall green screen with roughly 1.5 meters wide, so you can fill me up completely. If you're doing zoom or doing any presentation that you need to remove the background, then this is one good solution for you. So materials wise, I have two materials in my hand. This one is called a non-woven fabric, a little bit like your recycling bags. This is called the Oxford material, Oxford cloth. So they're not really cloth, both I think plastic in nature. But non-woven is a little bit thinner and rougher, while non-woven cloth is a little bit more opaque. So let me point some lights through it. So as you can see there, the non-woven does a lot more light to go through what the Oxford cloth is more opaque actually. So what does this mean? So if you have a screen that is made of as a non-woven, you have a higher chance of light transmission. If you're placing this against a window or very bright background, then your keying in post-production may be more challenging. So if you can try to put your green screen near to a wall, a solid dark wall to reduce this kind of effect. Otherwise, we highly suggest that you choose a material like the Oxford cloth, which is a little bit more pricey, but offers much more opaqueness to block out more light so that your keying can be uh, much easier in post-production. So there you have it. We have a few kinds of materials. Do let us know whether you like this kind of short videos. We'll see you soon again.